hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a simple reinstall this hair is a 13 by 4 180 density lace frontal wig from ali pop store on amazon when i received the hair it was actually 16 inches but i did end up cutting it because i wanted to try bob all the products that i use will be linked in the description down below so let's get straight into the video so when it comes to bob wigs it is actually very important that you straighten the hair track by track this just helps with keeping the hair straight for a long period of time so when doing the bold cap method the first thing that i do is i put on the bold cap and then i get bold hold glue and apply that along my hairline i'm using hd wig caps they are from amazon and i will have them linked down below in the description i only use one layer of bold hold because i do actually go in with got to be after but you just want to spread that along your hairline and then use the blow dryer once the glue goes clear then you go in with your got to be spray and you just spray that along your hairline and then go in with the blow dryer one more time until the glue is clear and dry so now I cut a hole behind my ear and I just stretch out the hole so that my ear will fit through. I do this on both sides and then if I do need to add some more glue then I go in and do that now. Then I use a blow dryer one more time. And I cut straight up the middle of the bulb cap but I do not cut off the ends because I use that to tie it at the back of my head. I do really take my time on this part because I feel like you see when there's little parts of the wig cap sticking up it can be quite annoying when you're trying to lay your wig so I do try to get as flat as possible. So here's me just trimming the ends of the bold cap, I've already tied it at the back of my head. I do spend a while doing this just because I like it looking perfect. Now I get a makeup brush and I do actually use powdered foundation under my wigs. We're just going to spread the makeup across the bold cap. I'm going to have a middle part so I mainly put it in the middle. So that's me just knotting the back of the bold cap. And then I use rubbing alcohol just to get rid of any makeup that's left on my skin. I look so cute in a bold cap but look it's actually giving scalp already. And then finally, just to seal the wig cap, I spray got to be on top. So this is optional. You don't actually have to use lace tint, but I just enjoy it. I like it. I really like lace tint. I feel like it just does what it's supposed to do every time. So I blow dry that onto the wig as well. And then I flip the wig onto my head. So at this point, you just want to adjust the wig. I did actually pluck out a bit of the hair because I wanted to try giving myself a widow's peak. So the easiest way for me to explain this widow's peak that I attempted, I pulled out like two pieces of hair at the front and I cut it in like an M shape. I wasn't trying to go for like, you know how there's different types of widow's peaks? I didn't really want a deep one, so it's like a baby widow's peak, but it still came out quite cute. So this is a reinstall, so I have already installed this wig on my head before, so the edges have already been cut out, but I am going to change them a bit because I want different edges. When I'm installing wigs, I hate when like the hair gets stuck to the glue because it's just so annoying, so I do try to twist the hair so it will just stay out of the way when I'm actually laying down the wig. And then I clip the hair up just because I don't want any hair stuck at all. Like guys, it's the most annoying thing. So if you can avoid it, do anything to avoid getting the hair stuck to the glue. So now you just want to pull the wig backwards and then I get my bold hold again and I just do another dotted line along my hairline. But I do it on top of the wig cap, so I do one dot on the wig cap and then one slightly beneath it, so on my skin. And then I use the top of the bottle just to spread it across my hairline. 
Normally I use Q-tips because I do find them quite practical or the back of my towel comb or even lollipop sticks are quite good too. So normally I only do two layers of bold hold because I realise that the more layers I do, the less time the install actually lasts. So I try to stick with two layers. Okay, that definitely was not two layers. I think that's my third layer. But I just did that on the ear tabs because that's the part of my wigs that just lifts all the time. And now you pull the wig back down and adjust it to wherever you'd like it to be and you stick it down. Once again, I do spend quite a long time adjusting the wig just so that it's comfortable and so that the wig isn't resting on my ears. So I'm gonna speed this part up. So here I'm using a tail comb just to kind of get rid of any of the bumps in the lace. This part is actually quite important because having like ripples in the lace is really annoying as well. So at this point I go in with my bold hold again just to make sure that all of the lace is glued down and that I haven't missed any areas. And as you can see because we twisted the baby hairs and clipped up the hair, nothing got stuck to the wig cap so that was really good. Then I just added some more glue because certain parts didn't glue down the first time which is completely normal. So this is going to be another time lapse because I do spend quite a while doing it. So at this point I just section out my edges using a tail comb and then I get a wax stick. This is the Kera Kera wax stick and I use it just to really separate my edges from my hairline. So now I get my hot comb and everywhere that I've applied the wax I just go over it several times. Guys in this video I do spend a lot of time hot combing and blow drying but that's just what I do. Okay now this is my favourite part, we're going to start cutting out the edges. So you can see what angles I'm cutting the edges at, they have to be short at the top, short at the end. So now I'm going with my flat iron and I curl the edges inwards. You can do it upwards but I just prefer how this looks. So I comb out my edges and then I get edge boost and I think that is the cream of nature mousse, the argan oil one and this is where I just mould my edges. Then once I've moulded my edges how I'd like them, I use my blow dryer just to really set them. Then I continue moulding the rest of the edges. This does go on for quite a while. Can we just appreciate how straight the bob is though? Like guys, look at the hair. This hair, the quality of it, love, love, love. But look at how straight it is. So now I use got to be, in fact this is not even got to be, that is my ebbing spray. That's the yellow ebbing spray and I use that on the hairline of the wig and I blow dry it one more time and then apply my melt band. Then you want to blow dry it again. And this is like the final step of the install. You just want to hot comb the whole thing basically but you're going to use your tail comb and separate the front sections of the hair just so that it can lay flat. So now when you're hot comb in the front of the wig, you just want to flick it outwards. So I do that on both sides and then I continue to like flatten the top of the wig. And now you just remove the melt band and guys look at how nice this looks. Like it's giving scalp but I do go in and add some more makeup to it. And there's me just adding some foundation to the lace so it will match my skin a bit better. And that is it, so thanks for watching, and that is the end of the video.